Welcome to the Dolls House Emporium Masterclass. I'm Mark. And I'm Jenny. And today we're going to show you just how creative you can be when planning your decor. I'll be showing you how to get a real feel of the period you're trying to recreate. So Jenny, how do we get started? Well, there are lots of inspirations out there. Next time you visit a stately home, do pick up the guidebook. There's always lots of information about different historical periods in there. Is it okay, just to interrupt you, sorry, is it okay to then copy a room decor out of maybe a stately home into your own home then? Absolutely, that's what a lot of people like to do. Try to get it as accurate as possible with the furniture and the decoration. Of course, so you can go to the Dolls House Emporium catalogue and you can look at the period furniture that is applicable to the decoration That's you choose. That's right, create your own mini stately home. Fantastic, what next then? These are just your normal home decorating books, full of ideas about country style, Victorian style, and don't forget all the free guide cards you can pick up in any DIY store. There are ideas everywhere. And when I've assembled all my ideas, when I've thought about my colour scheme, and what the ideas I'd like to put into the room, I then go on to create a mood board, and I'll show you how to do that next. So, Jenny, you mentioned then mood board. What exactly is a mood board? Right, a mood board is just a collection of all your ideas, everything that inspires you when you're thinking about your room. Put it all together, and you can see how everything works together. Here I've done a Victorian theme, so I've just chosen items from the Dolls House catalogue, but I've also cut ideas out of true magazines and decorating guides, just to give a feel as well. I was well. going to say, these look like catalogue shots and things like that, and, right. and out of magazines. Anything that I see in a magazine, or a decorating guide, or an advertisement, anything that catches my eye and makes me think of my room, I'll put it on the board. And here I've done a Victorian theme, which is quite a rich mm. decorative scheme, and a much more simple modern idea there as well, which is using more light, neutral colours. So this could be just two completely different rooms in your house? That's right, it could even be two different houses. Or you could follow these houses. through, two different houses. That is such an easy way to do it, isn't it? So simple, I never even thought of just put planning your whole room out as easy as this. Well, it's such a good way to get a feel of what it is you're looking for. Then you can get it set in your mind, what it is you're aiming for, and it is a way to avoid expensive mistakes. Of course, there's nothing worse if you start decorating your room or going and buying all That's the bits right. and pieces and then finally they don't work and together, And then thinking, I wish I'd done it that colour or I wish I'd chosen that wallpaper. Right, Jenny. Well, I've been out and about and scouting around for little bits and pieces. If you have a look here, I have got some of my own collection together here. See what you think of this. I was trying to do a bedroom, right. so I found, I found a little picture of a yeah, chair. Yeah, a pink chair. A little pink chair there. I've also got some items that I bought out of the Dolls House catalogue. So I've got some flowers, I've got a couple of picture frames, I've got a nice little bit pieces here. What do I do now? How do I, how do I go about sticking this together and making right. it look like yours? So you've cut out all your pieces, just your various shapes and sizes, that's fine. So I would start with the wallpaper, because you've got nice big pieces of wallpaper. I would just glue okay. those on. So we're going to start at the back and then work forward. That's right. That's, so you yes. start with the big piece at the back and then start yeah, sticking bits on top. Yeah, because when you're okay. in, looking into your room, the wallpaper is the thing you see most of, so it makes sense to have that largest on your paper. And I don't need to put much glue on, do I? Just, no, just, just a little bit, just to hold yeah. it all in place while I stick this down and it won't drop off. And then as soon as you've got a couple of things on there, it will start to come together and you'll get more and more ideas. So I can now put a smaller piece of paper. This is one. I went down to the local DIY store and I just pinched exactly. one of their paint cards and They're used ideal. that. Perfect. So this is ideal, isn't it? Stick it in yeah. there so I get the nice flavour of this. I'm going to get the hang of this. I quite, I quite enjoy doing this. It's very creative, it isn't is. it? It is. This is where you can really let your creative juices flow That's right. on your house now, and isn't it? And you'll keep seeing, as you get on with it, you'll keep seeing more and more things that you want to add to make that romantic bedroom perfect. And you can do this for any room. So you could do this for your kitchen, your bedroom, the living room, the kids' playroom. You can put the toys and all sorts of Every things together. Every room in the house, even the garden, can have its own mood board. That's fantastic. Well, we hope you enjoyed this very simple little masterclass. Here are some more inspirational inspirational rooms for you to enjoy.